Hey guys, it's Beblastic Cubing, and today I'm going to be telling you um, most center cases on Scube, and this lets you know that this tutorial is going to be explained as clearly as possible. <clears throat> and let's get into it. So first we have the classic U-perm. So basically it's R prime, R prime, R, hold on, R prime, L, R prime, R, L prime. And then we do a rotation and then we do the same thing again. And then if you know the advanced sledgehammer, um, you can just do it the way I do it. Now here's the advanced way. What that would be recommended to pros, not beginners, is you do a sledgehammer, you regrip, where your right thumb is going to be on the bottom center, and your left thumb is going to be um, the center in front of you. You're gonna squeeze. You know, I'm just gonna do it the easy way. <clears throat> So we're just gonna move this down, move this up, move that, move that corner back there, and then move that one back. And if you practice it enough, it should look like this. And next we are going on to the Z perm. So how the Z perm works is just have any face out in front of you. You're going to move this corner over there. And then you're going to do a triple sledge. And a triple sledge is where you do a sledgehammer and then you do it two more times. And then you undo that move to get a Z perm. Now here's the advanced way where you know the normal Z perm, but you wanna do a harder one. So how you do it is you don't, you want um, two opposing ones, not the matching is, and you're also gonna put it 45 degrees, not having one face. And you can do R L prime, U prime, L, U prime, I mean U, L, R, L prime, R, and that's the advanced way. So in conclusion, it looks like this. Um, and now on to the H perm. So the H perm is kind of like the U perm, except we're gonna do something different for the second um, algorithm. So, so we're gonna do a sledgehammer. We're gonna rotate, but instead of doing a sledgehammer, we're actually doing a hedge slammer. So a hedge slammer is doing like the opposite of a sledgehammer. So it's L prime, R, L, R prime, and then rotate, do a sledge, and that's basically how it works. And if I didn't get skew notation right, I'm sorry because I don't know good skew notation. It feels like I know it, but I forgot it. And here's the advanced one where you do like two of them and then you do like this you do like the same thing two other times so it's like this and then we're gonna rotate one and we're gonna move this up this down this up this down um so it looks pretty fast Let's get our speed stacks timer. 
or cubing timer. And let's do normal U-perm. That was a 181. And now let's do fancy U-perm. So just a advisor that Fancy U-Perm may be harder at first, but once you get used to it, it becomes really fun. Now let's do normal U-Perm. Now let's try the fancy Z-Perm. 2.43. Try normal H perm. Two point eighty. And now let's try the fancy one. One seventy eight. So it's definitely more obvious that the advanced ones are obviously better, but it takes some time to get used to. And that is the center cases. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Sorry for my mistakes and my bad notation. There are some other videos out there that can say clear notation, but this one was as clearly as I possibly can. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, I, I enjoy um, making these videos. So if you would like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.